Why, hello there, friends. My name is Zen Life to you here, and welcome. Um, this is a little bit of a side talk. I, I, I would call this side talk Fridays, but still, this is actually um, where we get to the serious issues. Okay, so let's get to the discussion. We shall, we shall indeed. Anyways, today I was actually browsing around the internet, and plus, um, I do go on Facebook sometimes, and plus, I'm actually a social person. And plus, I don't know. I was actually kind of um, flabbergasted by um, this man's story. Plus, I know him. I know him. Know him actually from his shop. And plus, it's called Exotic City, and it's actually a really good shop. And plus, they have a lot of good good things, especially when it comes to, um, I'll say, bicycles, oldie stuff, oldie songs, everything. Well, that kind of took a turn for the worst, and plus, it kind of actually threw me off when I just heard this um, message, which I'm about to play for you guys right about now. So let me show you guys. Good morning. Today is uh, October 10th, uh, 2016. Um, good morning to everybody. For us, it's not. I'm saddened today because. I came to open up my business and run the way to the city of Hope to go do some lab work on me yeah. um, to see where my cancer is, is at. And I come to my store and I find this, this document on my on my gate here stating that they want me to vacate the building. Sad. For over the last five years, my brother, I was telling him the Alameo, he me pizza. I decided to get me out of this building. Wow, that's just sad. Somebody that's been taken over by greed. So just to expand their business. My father into having me vacate so that way he can expand his business. Where his business is good enough to be at a mall or at a shopping center, but his intentions are to stay with the property. Wow. In 1985, my mom and both and I, um, we came over here and we purchased this property with with with, uh, with uh, the understanding that that it was going to be like a retirement for my mom when she came at that age. Um, and we find out that he um, um, comes and rents his space and is vacant. Wow. I find out that my mom is already going to be paying it off in about in, in, in ten years. And, and plans on finding a way how to vacate me out of okay. the, the property that we can stay with the property. Uh -huh. Those are his intentions, and he's my brother. That's what greed is all about. Wow. If you have greed, it doesn't matter if they're blood, family, or whatever, wow. friends, or whatever. Their intentions are to gain for the work of somebody else. Mm -hmm. And and the and the years, he was a property right contractor. There. He made a lot of money. And he stole a lot of money from the people that wow. that were illegal, and the people that 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 uh, uh, he kept his social security money from, and mm. and uh, withholding. So he kept that money and bought a house up on the hill for 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 mm. half a million dollars. Which he lived up there. He had multiple uh, houses for rent, mm. and he also had a ranch, a yard. He had trucks. Okay. So yeah. He had a lot of money. Okay. And. Uh, government found out what he was doing, they came and he took all that and he lost that. But now he's trying to to, to gain with with, okay. with the capital that Hope and my mom and I have built. My dad was just a signee uh, on the title. He had no part in it, but since he's, he's my mom's husband, he went on title. And huh. we didn't want to make him feel bad. But mm -hmm. between my brother and my dad, all their life have lived under the wings of my mom mm -hmm. and through our capital that we gained. And, 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 and they, they, they lived under my mom's wing. That's and my mom is the breadwinner of the family. And Hope and I have been her support. And, and I have my mom all these years. So I don't now, even know what it is. I have never heard of it. Before. I got to pull myself out of my building. So it's not a city going to be closed. Because, because of my dad and my brother's grief. Wow. want me out of here. Wow. So, uh, two years ago, um, I lost my, my friend. Oh. And we got a little bit of insurance money, enough to bury him. There wasn't enough money um, actually left, you know, for other things. Um, so my mom was behind in her in her in her taxes, 
and she owed like four thousand dollars, and I paid those those those, those four thousand dollars that wow. cash money, and now they're they're obligating me to do okay. it again, you know, which which right now, you know, uh, I'm I'm still recovering from 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 my cancer, wow, and um, um, you no, know, right now I don't know where I stand at, oh my you know, god, so so after my the passing of my of my son. Six months later, I find out I have cancer, so I have to stop working. Wow. I just went really back um, to a new job, and this is my second week, and I'm trying to build up my finances, and my brother and my dad are forcing me to do things that financially I'm unable to do, wow. you know? And um, so now, you know, my store will have to be closed, no. to further notice. Um, that's sad. Yeah. Oh, that just sucks. It's a pretty notice and um, to see if it's going to continue being open now. But I'm just giving you guys the sad story and the info of, of what's happening if you, if you come by and see my store clothes. Wow. So, let you know that I got this notice of vacation. So now they're trying to sue me and um, have me vacate the building here at Dodge City 971 East Main Street in Santa Paula. Okay? So, I wish you guys a good day and. Open eye on our way to the hospital. That's um, I'm gonna get some lab work done, and hopefully everything you know will come out okay. But we'll keep in touch. Thank you very much. And um, if you guys want pizza, don't come and support this. Just get me pizza, you know, because my brother, he's my brother, so he's deep, and he's got two faces. So don't don't support this business right now. Thank you very much. Enter and hope. So you guys can see right there that um, his name is um, Hector Emilio, if I if I have pronounced it correct. I do apologize if I kind of scrambled your name a little bit. Um, I kind of felt really bad that he's going through this, especially with um, his situation. And it's kind of um, heartbreaking just to see that family actually can't stab you in the back. And they can actually be very greedy. So what he said is... Don't support Tuscany Pizza. It's actually um, the thing that that has to be happened because um, this kind of this kind of business that actually that actually just just cares about um, expanding and taking other people's dreams, especially when it comes to a shop, a shop that has been there for so long, and it's it's been there and it, it's had its moments, its good times, its its bad times, its awesome times, especially when it comes to that. But still, um, that shop I've been to that it before when I was thirteen. Um, I've been there with my brother also. Um, that shop is actually the greatest shop ever. And this man right here is actually um, pouring his heart out just to say that um, he actually um, cares about this shop so much. I even care about this shop so much because it's actually the greatest shop ever. So, um, yeah, don't eat at Tuscany Pizza because uh, his brother's a thief. <laughs> and that's kind of a sad thing just to at least um, be a thief. And also let greed blind you with whatever you have. So, this is all the time I have for now, guys. Um, like this video if you if you want to at least um, see some more of me ranting. And also comment below and tell me what are your thoughts on on this person that has lost his shop to his brother. And also tell me if he's actually either his brother's a crook, a thief, or whatever. Because you never know what life's going to give you, especially when you have a life-impacting day. So I'll see you guys soon. Bye, guys.